Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to generate and plot a non-trivial signal using computer software. For example, in this video, we will use Python for this purpose. So, given the following signal, y of t defined as 3 times the ramp signal with slope 3 and offset equal to 3 minus 6 times the ramp signal with offset equal to 1 plus 3 times r of t. That is a ramp signal with offset equal to 0 minus and minus 3 times unit step signal t of u of t minus 3. That is the unit step signal is moved 3 points towards right. So, we want to generate and plot y of t in Python. So, first we have to identify the basic components of this signal. We can clearly see that there are four components and the first three are basically variations of the ramp signal. So, let us call them y1, y2, y3 and y4. So, y1 is y1 of t of course, since it is a signal and that is a function of time t. So, it is y1 of t is equal to 3 times r of t plus 3. That means, the slope is equal to 3 and offset is equal to 3. That means, the signal starts at minus 3. Next, y2 of t is equal to minus 6 r of t plus 1. That means, the slope is equal to minus 6 and the offset is equal to 1. That is, the signal starts at minus 1. And the last ramp signal is y3 of t is equal to 3 times the r of t. That is, the slope is again equal to 3 and the offset is equal to 0. And the last component of the word of the total signal y of t is y4 of t is equal to minus 3 times the unit step signal and that starts at positive 3. So, now we basically have to construct the for these four components and then finally add them to produce the total signal or to generate the total signal. That is y of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t plus y3 of t plus y4 of t. So, now we have to generate each of those components and finally combine them. So, let us look at the Python code for this purpose. We are going to use this function ramp function that is fn underscore ramp for generating the ramp signal and the unit step signal u step for generating a unit step signal. These definitions are basically self evident. So now, let us look at the python code for generating these signal components. So, for the first component we know that, so for the first component we know that the offset is equal to 3 that is the signal starts at minus 3 and the slope is equal to 3. So, so, we basically call the function with slope equal to 3 and the offset equal to 3 and this function stands for y i of t that is for the ramp signal for ramps y i of t is equal to the corresponding slope multiplied by the ramp signal t plus the corresponding offset. So, for the first one it is clearly equal to 3 and the offset is equal to 3. So, by just passing those arguments, we can call the function that is, is uh, passing the slope equal to 3 and the offset equal to 3, we can generate the y1 of t. So, this first y mat of 0 comma colon, this command basically generates the signal component y1 of t and then the second command that is y mat of 1 comma colon is equal to this function of the slope equal to minus 6 and offset equal to 1 generates y2 of t. Similarly, we generate y3 of t and then for the fourth component, we use the function u step with the value equal to minus 3 that is the unit step signal defined here usually has a amplitude equal to 1 that is the so the unit step signal usually looks like this that is t equal to 0 the value starts from the value is 1 and it is 1 for all the values of t greater than 0. So, in this case for minus 3 times u of t minus 3 it becomes at t equal to 3 it becomes minus 3 and this is minus 3 times u of t minus 3. So, this is the shifted and scaled version of the unit step signal. So, that is nothing but the y4 of t. So, this is y4 of t. 
Now we can simply plot those components and look at their structure. So this figure shows the four components of the signal. This is y1 of t and this is y2 of t, y3 of t. So by simply adding all these four components, we can generate the final total signal, which should look like this. Clearly the total signal value is 0 before minus 3 because the offset is always greater than or equal to minus 3. Since none of the signals have a value before t equal to minus 3, we can clearly see that it is equal to 0. In this figure, we can clearly see that all the signals have a value equal to 0 before t equal to minus 3. And for the values between minus 3 and 0, we have 3 RAM components and the unit step component is 0. So, the signal has a RAM structure and after t equal to 0 and before t equal to 3, the sum is clearly a constant. That's why we have a constant value of 3 between 0 and 3. And after 3, the unit step signal, that is scaled version of the unit step signal, that is y4 component, basically kicks in and the y4 component cancels with the sum of the rest of the three components. And thus, we have the signal value, that is the total signal value, 0 after t equal to 3. Thus, we can generate and plot a non-trivial signal using a simple computer program. Thanks for watching.